Hey everybody, welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. We are the quiet giraffes. And, w and most of them are quiet, except for one really annoying cult follower that we have. A really annoying one. His name's Luckless. Go figure, right? Yeah. So, let's go back into the dark wood. Oh, interesting. Okay, these are new. So, the Bane Sword, we unlock the poisonous weapons, and there is one here. And then we have the Touch of Turua. Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. I feel like we want to have an actual weapon first, instead of, like, a curse. Unless we get both. Maybe we get both. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sick. Okay, powerful tentacles. <laughs> Always. Oh, we got Fertilizer 2 now. So that's a new drop. What's this? Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Of course. Uh, we also want to be picking up bones when there's skeletons. We want to break those down and get... Uh... Oh, can I break this? Oh, nice. And get bones for other rituals and such. Wait. Do I want to kill him? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, I wasn't sure. Sometimes you see, like, a friendly squirrel or something, and you're thinking, okay, maybe we, maybe we don't kill that. Nothing from the bones yet. Oh, this is new. Camellias and camellia seeds. I better fire this off once. <laughs> Darkest dungeon, hello. Okay. Oh, see, like that guy. Like, I think maybe I leave him. Oh, this is... The th There's just three bishops. So it's true the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We need not bother Shimura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Okay. Oh, they're not done. Oh, that was risky. I'll hit them one day. Pretty sure. Let's go. Oh, there's my bone fragments. Now, maybe I can only get the bone fragments from... ...enemies that I kill and not the random... ...not the random carcasses around. Okay. Perform any ritual in your temple. Yes, I will. Now, I'm also thinking, because we're on this timer... ...for the days... Completing this stuff as fast as possible seems beneficial so that I can get back and be ready to do anything at base, like ASAP, right? Certainly seems that way. And uh, we're, we are playing on hard, which makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know how much that impacts at base type things, but, uh, you know, it's probably something to watch for. Ooh, that was nice. So that actually stuns them out, too. Come on, big boys. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I'm gonna go back. Oh, what's this? That's nothing. Okay, excellent. Got it. It's absolutely nothing. Let's go back and check out that other room. They must all be explored. Oh, beautiful. Okay, hit me with something nice. Attack rate increased by 1.25. When down to half, all enemies deal two damage. Or dealt two damage. No, we're going to take the attack rate, definitely. Good chatting. Oh, and see those little uh, danglies above? So those are the tarot things. Pay attention to the things hanging above the path. If it's nothing, it seems like it's just a 
fight or something. Acquired Leafy Lantern, an overgrown stand for a lantern. Is that one of the uh, things I can build? Decoration. That's exactly it. And I just need grass, of which I have a lot. Okay. Love that. Unlocked a new building. Let's motor. Okay, here's the path. What do we want to get to here? Ooh, that looks interesting. Don't know what that is. Uh... There's a new follower here. I almost feel like I've got so many followers right now that are hard to keep up with, but... Um, there's a potential follower I could buy here. And then I could go into this, and then I could see what this is. I feel like that's what we need to do right now. Yeah, let's go here. The problem is, I actually, um... I want to save my money... Because I need to buy beds, and beds are like 20 coins each. It's actually ridiculous. So the question is, do I want to buy this? Oh, he's 100% off! <laughs> he must be horrible. I'll take him. That's... I didn't know that could be a thing. 100% off. Whoa. See you later. I love the crunch of their little bones. Yeah. Don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Okay, bye. Now we're gonna go here. It's gonna have a... Looks like a, a run modifier of sorts. Um, hearts going into, like, a card or something. Lose red heart, gain tarot card. Oh, interesting. 10% chance of gaining a heart when killing an enemy. That seems awesome. Doesn't that seem really good? I wonder if it's just a healing one or if it's like a temporary heart. Let's suck out all the devotion. Can I actually break this? Hell yeah, I can. And I get stoned from it. Well, that's cool. Okay, probably not unlimited. Let's break it one more time, just for experimenting, you know? Alright, satisfying, but not rewarding. Okay. This is new. What the hell? Jeez. Okay, flaming shot two instead of the tentacles. You know, actually, I like the tentacles. We tried flaming shot two in uh, the other run. And it's fine, but landing the explosion is tough. Whereas tentacles, like, that's a, that's a sure thing. Okay, we did get bones there. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, that was rough. Okay. That could have been cleaner for sure. Halfway through day six. A little bit worried about the time. Whoa, what's this? Acquired wreath, a simple decorative wreath of sticks. Yeah, gimme, gimme. Love it. Thank you. I don't know if this boosts our followers' happiness or anything. Yeah, I mean, what a jackpot of a room. What's this little guy? Nothing. He's dead. Okay, so I got two rooms to the north. Okay, and then this is off to the right, so I'm actually gonna head back and check this one. 
Oh, it's a weapon room. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Bane Axe 2. Apostate's Cleaver. Stopping Brutality, Swinging with Intent. This one has a chance of poisoning. So it's literally the same as that, but poison. Then here's the flaming shot again. I kind of like what we have here. But this one's like more than double the damage. Let's take this. Let's go. Okay, bye now. I really want to get back before the end of the day. Because otherwise I... Well, did I do the sermon at the beginning of day six? I think maybe I did. Rabbit's foot increases chance to spawn better chests. Oh, that's fantastic to get that near the end of a run. That'll be helpful. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. So that's the same icon as me. Pray. Your possessions will follow you through death. Oh, neat. We have yet to die. But I presume that means that, like, if we die, we probably lose everything that we gained on that run. That means that that wouldn't happen. So that seems great. Okay, boss time. Let's do it to it. Oh. Okay, I don't love that I'm at one heart. That's certainly new for us. Okay, we got half a heart there, so that's solid. Weapon room to the left. Looks like the boss is up there then. Let's check the weapon room. So this is the same. Or I go super fast. What are my tarot cards again right now? So we've got better chests, killing an enemy, could give a heart. An attack rate is increased. I actually think we just stay with what we have because our attack rate is increased. And we'll keep the tentacle. Or should we? Nah, let's take this. We'll, we'll change it up. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you had me for a second. Ooh. Oh! Give me a heart. Nope. Dutch Alex is no longer exhausted. Oh, it's interesting that we get updates on our followers while we're in here. Like, I don't have enough other things to worry about. Okay, this will be tough. Barbatos. Let's just see. Whoa, okay. So all those spots are marked. We got him poisoned, that's huge. Poisoned as well. Uh, 
Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of shooties. Playing this very cautiously. I could probably be getting two attacks off. But this is working, so... I'm not gonna tempt fate. Poison again. Probably go for it here. Boom! Sick. Okay. And then it seems like we always are getting a follower from the boss, too, so that's nice. Join us. Alright, what do we want here? Big gift, lumber, or berries? I mean, <laughs> is that even a choice? What's in here? Oh. Oh my god! That's beds! Guys, that is beds right there. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. <laughs> All these little assholes back at the base, they're gonna love me. Why do I care so much about them? Okay, we are close to finding Leshy. Let's go. I gotta have an immediate sermon. Followed by beds. Now, I'm not going to be... Oh, nice. We even got a bonus. So I can make five beds out of that. I'm not going to be able to keep everyone happy all the time. People will leave. You see me here in chains, reduced to nothing, but it's not always been thus. I was bound to this wretched place by the vicious of the old faith. They betrayed me and left me to rot. Each of the four chains that binds me are guarded by one of the bishops. Destroy the bishop and you break the chain. Break all four and I will be freed. I gave you life a new vessel, and now you must repay the debt. You know what must be done. To defeat the bishops, you will need to become stronger. Sacrifice a follower to absorb more power. This will aid you in your quest to free me. Okay. A ritual for sacrificing. Grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Higher level followers will be more valuable when sacrificed. Alright. You got it. Oh, it even puts the name there. That's sick. They're inspired by my successful crusade, but they're starving. I mean, guys. You could, you could be making food or... Whatever. Uh, instant poops. Uh, what is this using? Yeah, that's fine. And then let's go berries. Actually, hold on. Let me, um, let me gather these berries. See how this one has a star? This is what I fertilized. So do I get more berries there? Oh, luckless left. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, cool. Fair enough. Yes, yes. Faith in the lamb is at all time low and cannot be endured any longer. You must restore faith in the cult or we'll have to leave mass exodus. Remember, without a cult, you die. No, you're right. You know what? Sermon time. Immediately. 50% or followers will leave. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get that high enough, man. It's sermon time. Ooh, I wonder if I had that other follow in there, if I would have gotten enough to fill that bar. Because we have someone just chilling there. 
that I didn't indoctrinate yet. Um, okay, so I can do this. That'll be nice. This raises by five. Sacrifice a follower. Uh, I guess it depends on how strong they are, but we're gonna do this. Let's have a dance. I bet you if I would have done this, Luckless may have stayed, but it's fine. I got too many mouths to feed as it is. Crosser of thresholds. Excellent. That's still not even up to 50%, though. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there's so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, perform blessings for them, and you'll increase your loyalty. Once they're totally loyal, they'll give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. Follower, come back in here. <gasps> okay. Yeah. To increase the follower's loyalty to level them up, they will reward you with devotion and commandment stone fragment. Each time a follower levels up, they will generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshipping at the shrine, so be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons and many actions. So I gotta talk to each of them once per day. I'm old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I'll show you how to harness the power, the true power of the Red Crown. Okay. World map? Say less. Man, look at my... My followers are so hard to keep happy. Okay, so that's where I travel from. Okay, let me get some meals for these guys before they go absolutely berserk. Eat up, psychos. Okay, so what's this one? Cult 2. Upgrade temple and shrine, collect more devotion, and allow more followers to pray. Okay, I don't need to build this yet, I don't think, because I don't have any dead bodies yet. So let's unlock Cult 2. Good job. Cult upgraded. That's what I like to see. You got bleeding black eyes now. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Kaz. Give blessing. There you go. Everyone's on the list. I knew you could do it. Oh, boom. Big halfer right there. Oh, that's part of his uh, things. Okay, now look at our our stuff. Now we're talking. That must have been a quest. I didn't even notice on the side of the screen. Let's indoctrinate Mar. Um, I did change the keyboard command so that this isn't down anymore, but let's see. No, it still does it. Okay. So no S names. That's going to be kind of tough. Um... Let's name this one... It's gonna be Falto, because I can't put an S. Faltro. Alright. I'll have to report that bug to them. Giraffe. You can be this one. And you can be this one. What's your deal? Minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Heals faster on bed rest and when sick. Okay. Uh, now, get to work. Just kidding. Um, yeah, you can do that. Oh, here's another one. Come and join. Barbatos, yes. I remember killing you. That was fun. Next one, let's do... No S names. Agent K9. You're in. You can go dark brown. Branded. Work and devotion generation is slow. They're both bad. But your devotion's really bad. So I need you to be working the fields. But also a decent sacrifice if necessary. 
Uh, you can do trees. Let me give you your, uh, your daily blessing. Oops. Did not want to do that. Now they're going to be pissed. Okay, so this part's, this part's important. Already been blessed. I think both of these guys were blessed. Excuse me. I'm here for your daily blessing. Let's go. Oh, you look... Why do you look so sad? What's wrong? Let's see your thoughts. I don't know. Cult grows. They want an outhouse. A couple people want that. Here's your blessing. All right. I'm going to take all of these down. Now, I wonder if I just, like, prepare... Let's say I prepared 40 meals. Like, what happens then? Would they go to waste? We don't store them, obviously. I'll take that stuff that they stored. Hi! I interrupt. Oh my god. They're so sensitive. I have to do my daily poop route. We gotta look at our buildings. There's that one bed. We're gonna make a few more of those. Oh, who's back there? Canine's been blessed. You guys just dump anywhere you want. Looks like I'm probably going to be here until the beginning of the next day at least. Okay, so I need a ton of wood right now. I'll help over here maybe. We'll see how much wood we get from this big tree. Oh, you need something. What's up? Great leader, I'm tired of sleeping outside on the ground. There are bugs in my back aches. Would you build me somewhere to rest? Yes! Absolutely! That's great, because now it's a quest, so I'll get something else out of it. Yeah, this takes a long time. Wow. Okay, hold on. Is there, are there any other smaller ones? I think we took them all down. Oh, I got another poop over here. Outhouse would be great. He's hitting rocks. Alright. Well, I'm gonna do this until we complete it. Okay, there we go. So we get 15 lumber out of that. Not bad. So I can build... If I could just get one more wood, but I, I don't see any trees at all. Huh. Alright, well, I'll build what I can. Let's have them all sleeping next to each other. And these guys that are still awake should be able to snag these beds. Collect reward from Kaz. What do you got for me, buddy? You did it, truly. You're without flaw. Ooh! Kaz, maximum loyalty there. Oh, he just explodes into me. <laughs> All of his fun times. We won't even say it. Okay. So, he didn't even take the bed. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. All right. Then it said to give a gift. Where can I see? Here we go. G 
Give a gift. Visit Rattel's home we need to do as well. Okay, I have another one I could spend. Let's look at what's available. Prison, we're gonna pass on for right now. Offering statue, they can leave offerings in your honor. Shelter, more stable shelter, which collapses less often because those beds collapse, they said. Follower generates wood. That actually might be good. Send your followers on a holy quest to gather resources if they make it back alive. Oh, cool. Then over here, a scarecrow prevents birds from stealing seeds? Oh, wow. I think we need them to start generating things. So let's do a lumber yard. Because if our resources at our base are finite, that's going to be problematic. But I bet you I can't afford to build this, if I had to guess. I need... I need more wood to build the lumber yard. Ooh, this is close. Here we go. Excellent. Lumber yard it is. It's okay. I don't know if the placement actually matters. Flock is ready for another sermon. Okay. Good. A bed did collapse there. You see that? So getting to upgraded lodgings might be good. I bet it can probably hold more people too. And then I'm going to have to assign someone to this. So they'll store it in here. Artie, take your blessing. Canine, take your blessing. So it looks like they're just in there. I didn't even assign it, so I'm going to let them go. Kaz, tired of sleeping outside. There's bugs and ashes. Would you build me somewhere to rest? Build another sleeping bag. Yes, that would be great. Blessing. Now this is where the challenge is going to come in. <laughs> Managing all of our daily tasks. We'll we'll get there. It'll be it'll be good. It's going to be excellent. Okay. So loyalty on everyone. Let's do a sermon. Ding, ding, ding. Listen to me. Nice. Okay, so we could now get into curses or might of the devout one. Increase the starting level of weapons. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Because weapons we're using all the time. Curses are a lot more infrequent. Well, they seem to like that. Just kidding. Okay, crown. So, declare a new doctrine for your cult. Okay. Have them proffer both labor and love. Teach them the true meaning of obedience. Preach on the value of earthly goods. Instruct them on the liturgies surrounding their daily bread. Reassure them that death is not the end. Okay, so I'm guessing here, but I'm guessing this might, this could do like faith generation or something when they're eating the earthly goods. Maybe if we build some of those, uh, you know, trees and stuff like that. Obedience. Labor and love. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, okay. Faithful trait. All, all cult members will generate the faithful trait, or the gain the faithful trait, uh, generating devotion faster. Or, or we increase work speed. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna take work speed. All right, that's neat. Declared a doctrine which has imbued your followers with a new trait. It will be applied to all members of the cult and will change how their faith is affected by events. Cool. Open your holy doctrine to the commandments you've preached. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. There we go. Oh, so it's like uh, one or the other. Once you don't pick it, it's gone. And we can't get a preview of these. All right, all right, all right. So I think I'll uh, I'll whip up some more berries. And then I'm out. I'm out for the day. Oh, you know what? Put some of these camellias in here too. And let's see what happens with those. Uh, so I'm out of wood. We have this going. What else? That's it. Okay, am I missing anything? I better pick up this shit before I leave. Oh, I can repair the beds. Oh, neat. All right, so at least there's that. Okay, it's time for me to go. There's my two lumber. I'll build another bed. <laughs> uh, oh no, I won't because I used the repairs. All right, fine. Uh, see you guys later. I've got stuff to do. Let's go to the lonely shack. Okay, I can't attack in here. Ooh, what's this? A new animal form your followers can take. Hey, we could be little mice. Interesting. So Must thank you. By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire most. Wow. Peace. Now that I have taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. Oh. I have friends on their way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch to be sure. But now I'm tired, I'm free to enjoy myself. Or now that I'm retired? Is that what it said? Don't mind me, I'm gonna take your berries. What is this? You've discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did, or you'll end up in a place just like this. Now, perhaps a game of knuckle bones? You don't know it? Why, it's simple. Oh, I just realized, you know how we picked that big gift thing? I can give that to somebody, I bet. I think we have one in our inventory, and there's one over there too. That's what just triggered that. So I probably can go back and give a gift. Step up to the table and I'll show you. Okay, knuckle bones. Defeat him at knuckle bones. A gift to raise the loyalty of your follower. Yep, exactly. All right, cool, cool, cool. I actually thought when I was originally choosing it, that it was going to be like a random thing, but... Okay, low difficulty. Yep, let's go. <laughs> How to play. Score is calculated by adding all your dice together. If you match dice, when dice of the same number are placed in the same row, multiply their value. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Oh boy. Okay. I got a three. So if I had a four and I put it there, it would destroy his? Is that what I'm seeing? He has 10. I have 3. Let's put it here. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. He's dusting me, dude. Give me... Can I... Could I maybe get, like, one? Do you think I could get, like, one six? I'll, I'll put it here because, like, doubling the threes isn't going to get me anywhere. Not with his sixes. I basically need to keep a whole line there for potential sixes. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, bro. Okay, I see. So it literally erases it. Oh, neat. Okay. That's cool. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I get it now. It's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. Um, we'll delete his there, I guess. I really need six is bad. Now, he's choosing not to delete my five there. I wonder why. If I put a two here, that feels a bit rough. I also wonder if I get a cross bonuses. A one. So he's capped out in that row. That sucks. Because I have to play it, right? That's too bad. That's actually helpful to me, I think. Now, this is getting rid of his five. But, like, we're just nowhere close. He's got those triple sixes there. Um... I'm just checking to see if there's any, like, manipulation I can do. So once somebody fills, it's over. All right. All right. He got lucky, man. Come on. Come on. He got very lucky. I'm going to take him down again here. Let's go. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Now we got it. I'm going first. All right. So I wonder if it's beneficial for me to kind of have like a junk pile. Like I, or maybe, maybe on like fours and above, I try to double and the rest I could try to like, I don't know. We're going to have to, we're going to have to see how it feels. Oof. That's ugly. That's an ugly one. Okay, so he just cancelled me instead of going for doubles. Interesting. Interesting tactic. Oh, there's his lucky sixes again. Oh, there we go. Give me a six. A four. Uh, now, interestingly enough, I, I almost don't want to put this there because he's maxing out that row at 16. You know what I'm saying? And he can't do anything about it. And I can put whatever I want there. So if I go here, I delete that. And then I could still get a double if I'm lucky, which I'm not. But actually... If I just got a pair here, I'd be above on this one. And forcing him to keep that one, I think, is beneficial. Oh, okay. That's great. Now I've got a double here. And he's got two. So the pairs do only work vertically. And he's got two ones jamming him up pretty nicely. Uh, I think I'm going to put this one here. Wow. It's neat that it cancels out your doubles as well. Now, if I put this here, it opens up his 16 again. But it also, if I go here, it kind of blocks my... my, my uh, one of my double chances. But I think if I can get a six, then I'm in a really good spot. This will cancel. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. If I cancel here, it opens him up to give fours. And if I go here, he still has stuck with that, that one. Uh, that'll work for me. Oh, yeah, he's getting jammed. I think, even if he gets a 1 in that middle slot, I do not care. 
I'm going to put my five here. Oh, he's going to get rid of it. All right. But now he's full up. Oh, excellent. Excellente. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay, I think we got a little bit of a strategy there, guys. Just saying. I think we got a strategy. <laughs> Care to play again? What do I get out of this? Earned yourself a prize. Oh, okay. So we unlock new tarot cards. Hearts too, gain an extra heart. Yep, I'll take that. So we're basically building up our tarot card loot table. Care to wager coin? Oh, really? Now that's... That's an intriguing proposition. Sure, let's bet 10. We'll do one more round. It's risk and reward, but it's also luck. As with most games, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> I almost wonder if you just sack a row. That's fine. That's fine. I think that's a losing strat right there. Okay. Okay. Now if he puts a two there, though, then I lose that whole row. Okay. Can I roll anything that isn't a two out of curiosity? Don't get a two. Nice. Okay. Um, if I go here, it at least gives me some options for potential pairs. I don't love it. Okay, so he's... He's... Done with that roll. <sighs> that one is really, really bad. If I put it here, it means I cannot get a pair. If I put it here, at least I could maybe get a four, a three, or a two. All right, that's fine. Now, do I go here and get rid of his six? Takes me to 11 and drops him. Or I put the six here, and then I get a one, four, three, or a six for doubles. And I'm up right now. <laughs> um, if I double this, I'm losing that vertical. And he still has a two slot there. As long as he doesn't roll a two, I could win this. Because that's going to put me at 32. Oh, my dude, like, this guy's cheating. This guy is cheating. I swear to God. Okay, you know what, we're going, we're going one more. I, I can't. I can't. All right. Come on, Rattel. All oh, I'm surprised you didn't get a six. Oh, okay, well. I'll take it. Now, I wonder, is the strategy better to go here where he already has one? Knowing that if he wants to play a six, he'll have to cram up his vertical. I think so. Six, baby. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here. That's fine. I feel like canceling a low one like that is not ideal. Like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Because if I could cancel him here, it just gives him more opportunities. Especially if I'm in the lead. Oh. Yeah, see, now he's crammed there. And I got doubles, but if he gets a five, I lose those doubles. But that's good for me. 
This is great for me, unless he draws a six, which you know him. Now, why wouldn't he go for doubles there? Why would he fill that row? Maybe for him, he's thinking, oh, I'll just wrap that up. Or maybe I'll, like, I'm going to wrap it up, finish it. That's the other thing, too. If you feel like you're you're too far behind, then you do want to cancel theirs out so their board doesn't fill. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if I go here... If I go here, it's going to cancel his two, which could allow him to six, double six, which would suck. I'm going to go here and cram this row. And then he's... Oh, God. Okay. Well, it's game over. Doesn't matter, though. <laughs> Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. I feel like at least we got our 10 bucks back, you know? Porch is not on my side. Let's do one more because we'll see if I can come out ahead. Because who wants a draw? You know, I'm uh, essentially neutral, dollars-wise. I feel like this is almost... <laughs> Here we go again. I feel like this is almost a um, tic-tac-toe scenario where there's, like, definitely right and wrong ways to do things. Oh, wow. See, now, why wouldn't he go doubles there? I guess to mitigate the risk of potentially me just playing a five, because there's so many plays left that I would erase his doubles. And if I go here, I'm really sacking myself big time. So I'm going to go here. But, like, come on. There we go. So he didn't go for doubles there either. Interesting. Very interesting. So do I clear one of his? I think maybe the idea is you're kind of waiting to clear doubles. That's the most beneficial, I think. But I also don't want to, like, clog up my sixes here. We'll get rid of that one. Okay, so he's finishing that vertical. Fine. Now, if I finish this vertical, I'm at 8 and he's at 12, if we're comparing, like, my left to his middle. If I go here, it keeps him from filling his, uh, his board, which is another strategy, but then I have way more limited options to counter him. I'm going to put it here. Nice, come on. Now he has got two slots for sixes there. Don't love it. He's still not taking the double. Yikes. Now I can get rid of one of his fives. Where do I put it though? I'm really worried that he's gonna he's like he's gonna roll a six and these two are gonna get erased because they're down so early, right? Let's do this one. I gotta believe he's rolling a six at least once. Oh, this is gonna get rid of his doubles. Sucks to be him. This is good. This is good for us. Oh, oh! That is not the play, Ritao. That's not the play. He, he screwed up big time. He could have, he could have drawn that out. I mean, it's, it's low difficulty, so I don't know what changes maybe later in the game he gets he gets stronger or something but all right at least we know we could make some money that way and what's this oh nice okay what else do you have here oh we just go home all right let's go home okay so it's go time guys we're almost done with Darkwood, I think. Uh, we're going to take a break here. We come back. We head back in. Oh, actually, let me give a gift. Let me give a gift. Uh, where's Kaz? Because he's at, like... Oh, you're close. Let's see how much a gift does. Kaz is level 2. Interact. Give gift. Big gift. We got a cross. 
Okay, so that's a pretty hefty chunk there. Are they arguing? Oh, I can, like, command them to get back to work. You seem tired. Sleep until tomorrow or no longer tired. Yeah, why don't I get you to bed? This is not what I want. I can make one more bed and then I'm off to work. We'll keep them staggered. I think it's nice looking. See, now I, I wonder though, like, is it better for me to stick around and wait until the next day so that I can give a sermon? Whereas if I go out, I feel like I'm almost risking missing a day. I don't want to miss a day. That seems really important. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Yeah, where? Where? Oh. The, the, the poo. I see the glowing radiation poops. Oh, what was... Wait, what is this? Looks like that symbol that was giving us the save before. It's just lumber. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do some more of these. Dutch and Kaz have become friends. Huh. So what is that going to do for them? Must just keep them, like, happier? Longer? I think just digging up that tree, too. For some reason, I thought it had my little weird icon on it. But it was just a regular tree. Um, but I'm also wondering, like, did I not pick up a... Did I not choose a gift somewhere? I wonder if I accidentally gave that to someone else. You honor me. Oh, wow. Look at this. Super loyal Kaz. My dude. Love you, Kaz. Thanks, man. Quest complete. Okay. Go back to sleep. We're still short on beds. What's funny is Kaz is the one that was asking for them before. Okay. There's another poop somewhere. There it is. And it seems like when they have a quest reward, they're not going to get mad when you wake them. Thank you. I'm overflowing with feels. Thanks. Okay. Missionary... I think we're gonna go shelter here. Wait, is this only one? I wonder. Healing bay, janitor station, outhouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's do this just for the unlocks. Mind you, looks like I still have quite a ways to go because I have to unlock a few more things. Basic decorations. Collection of simple decorations to beautify your base. Okay. So while I have a little bit of time to kill... What do I need here? I need more wood. Decorations. I need grass. Funny enough, I don't have any. I'm gonna leave Kaz B. There's day nine. Let's get the daily blessings. How many followers do I have? Six, I think? 
Yeah. So there's three. It's Kaz. They're working on the rocks, which is excellent. Sick. Blessings are completed. Let's do our sermon, and then we're actually going to get out of here. Everyone in. Be happy. Nice. Okay, Might of the Devout. Vampiric weapons seem awesome. Curse of the Occultist. I want- I'm probably leaving something on the table here by not going for curses, you know? Um... Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's take a new curse. We gotta see what's out there, right? We've only seen, I think, two so far. A little bit of happiness there. Okay, so this is on cooldown. That's fine. Rituals. Oh, this is on cooldown as well. Here I could sacrifice someone, but we're not going to do that. And then our doctrine is just... Yeah, these things. Okay. Everyone back to work. We're good. It's as happy as you're going to be. Okay? See you later. Don't screw anything up. Do I need to cook for you? I'll cook one. All right, bye now. Daddy's got stuff to do. We're going in. Guys, we'll see you in the next.